Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video. I apologize for the shakiness, this microscope really picks up every little movement. But it's a sad day today. Uh, the Baofeng UV5R, the one that I tried to kill on live stream by not having an antenna hooked up to it, has died this morning. It's in radio heaven. What happened is my old power supply failed and it sent in way too much voltage to the radio. And it blew. This, this, the component you see on your screen is either a, a voltage regulator or a transistor. It's a service mount. You can see it blew a hole in it. It's supposed to look like this. Matter of fact, you can see the H4 on there. And if you go over here, you can kind of see the H, but eh, no four. It blew a, it blew it. It also burnt up a coil. You can see it's hooked up to that particular component there. And it might have damaged that service small capacitor. I didn't check it with a meter. There's no sense to. But the radio was, com was completely dead. Nothing, no display, no nothing. It was like it wasn't even plugged in. So... Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. My power supply sent way too much voltage into it. My power supply obviously failed. Probably a regulator or something in there. I don't know. I, I didn't take it apart yet. So now I have to decide what am I going to do. And the reason being is this ball thing is also my simplex repeater that I did a video on. I modified this ball thing. I did, uh, I did a video on that. So I could use this with the blue box. What I mean by the blue box, I mean the R1 2020 box. That box is very picky on squelch. Uh, let's turn. Let's go back to the big camera so you don't got to watch this thing shake. Let's go back to the big camera. There. Um, so this, uh, the blue box is very picky on squelch. And it needs, I believe, 5 volts or more for it to work. And this Baofeng only put out, I don't know, 3 volts or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. So I modified it so I could have it um, run with the blue box so I can use my simplex repeater so I can record all voice activity in my Zello channel for testing purposes, um, testing electronic circuits, and then I can play it back later um, or, you know, have a, you know, play through the radio, whichever. So... Without this radio, I don't have my simplex repeater up and running. Not a real big deal because I have an, an actual repeater to use, obviously. But I like to have it run in my Zello channel for helping me test other radio gear. Now, I do have another ball thing. So, I could take it apart and modify it. And I may do that just because I don't really use it that much. So, obviously, i got to come up with a better power supply. So... We'll definitely um, come up with something there. Now, I try to take, uh, you know, out of a negative situation, I try to make a positive. I ha I'll have a spare antenna, and I'm going to rob off as much parts as I can on this on this board. I'm going to rob off the antenna connector so I can do it for other projects here. Maybe the volume control. Um, that's probably be about it for parts. Maybe the speaker I'll keep. I don't monkey around trying to save service small components. Not worth my time. So I don't. I won't even take that. You know, any of those parts off. But we'll take off what parts we can and uh, put them in the project bin, uh, parts bin, and uh, we'll see what we come up with in the future. So I thought I'd do a quick video here on what happened to my my good old ball thing. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.